Singapore is a tropical country. We see sunlight every day. Sunlight carries solar energy. It radiates electromagnetic wave. When sunlight shine on metallic materials, it may release electrons. Sometimes solar energy also called photon energy. When photon energy is converted to electrical energy, it give a lot of application. For example, night vision camera, photo cell, photo sensor, light dependence resistor. Some more applications such as infrared counters or gate control of vehicles. Solar cells also widely used in home and industry. In the outer space, solar cells also used as an energy source for satellite. EM wave consists of gamma ray, X ray, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwave, and radio wave. The spectrum shows on the slide the energy is increasing from the right to the left. For the visible spectrum, the red light has lower photon energy, whereas violet has higher. It is good for the students to know two basic equations. Equation 1, photon equal to h times f. From these expressions, it shows that photon energy is directly proportional to frequency, but it is inversely proportional to the wavelength. The second equation is the intensity of light. The intensity of light is depending on the number of photons arrive in one second onto a surface. Hence, the expressions of intensity can be expressed in equation 2. Intensity equal to power divided by A, also equal to NHF divided by T divided by A. From this expression, we know in one second, more photons arrive to a given surface will have more intensity. To understand photoelectronics effect, let us listen to a story. A man who dressed in yellow, we call him Yellow Photon. He wanted to rescue a girl called Miss Electrons. She was trapped in a metal cage. This metal cage was made of X material. Yellow Photon had tried many methods, including his friends, also called Yellow Photons, to bring the girl out, but they failed. One day, a man who was named Green Photon approaching the cage. The metal bath was suddenly broken. Miss Electrons was out of the cage, but she was too fertile to walk. It's because Green Photons did not give her kinetic energy. So, how to make her run away? She said, only brew and violet photons could give her sufficient energy to run. In this example, only green photon can release the electrons from the matter X. So, the frequency of the green photon we call threshold frequency. So, the expressions of incidence photon energy can be written as E equal to HF plus zero, as there is no kinetic energy. The threshold photon energy can be written as a work function, as shown. So, what is the work function? Work function is the minimum amount en energy to release electrons from the for the matter X. For easy memorizing, work is called energy. Function is to release. How about higher frequency of photon is fall on the matter X? Since violet light carry higher photon energy, the equation can be expressed as E equal to HF naught plus KE or equal to work function plus KE. As long as the frequency is higher than the threshold frequency, higher frequency will give higher kinetic energy. But remember, it doesn't mean that it will bring more electron out. Only one photon is allowed to bring one electron out of the matters. This story concludes that 1. Electron to be released is dependent on the wavelength, not number photon. 2. 
light frequency in green is the threshold frequency which is able to bring electron out of the matter. 3. Light in blue or violet or higher frequency has extra energy to be converted into kinetic energy given to the electrons for moving about. The expression can be shown below. E equals hf plus kinetic energy.